I have to be honest, I have really struggled with my motivation during the lockdown and I'm just not the kind of person that goes for a run, I'm not a jogger. So for the last week, I've been traveling to exotic locations and working out in virtual reality. This is Supernatural, it's a VR fitness experience and the company promises that it's the most fun you can have working out, although that's what everybody who tries to trick me into exercise says. Uh, I'm in Machu Picchu today and I have to strike these orbs as they come towards me and when I see a triangle, I have to squat into it and you'll have to forgive me if I don't put my back into it today because <laughs> turns out after doing this for a week, your legs really hurt. So. I guess it's kind of working. Now you might notice a striking similarity with a popular VR game, Beat Saber, which is one of those breakout VR hits, and it is very similar, although the developers of Supernatural have tried to distinguish it and make it appeal to more than just a gaming crowd. And they've done that by having fitness trainers in the game. Today I'm doing full body work with Rhaenyra. Enough talk, let's get into some warm up. And they're using big name artists and songs. but they're hoping to charge a monthly subscription. And that has annoyed some Oculus Quest owners who are used to paying just once to own a game. Okay, well, online from the company is Chris Milk. And Chris, I've been doing this for a few days and my thighs are killing me. Is that normal? <laughs> we, we hear that a lot. A lot of people aren't used to lower body body weight exercises. What I'm excited about is that people say that they are, their lower body is sore, but they don't actually remember the workout being hard. Nobody likes doing multiple squats in a row. If you can hide it inside of a fun activity, you don't remember the pain of the workout because it wasn't painful. How are you going to make this appeal to more than just gamers? Because I suspect most people that have one of these headsets are gamers. We're trying to bring virtual reality to, to a, a, di a different demographic. The Oculus Quest is what we've launched on. We're getting a lot of people that are saying that they bought a headset either off of eBay or off a third party for the purpose of exercise using Supernatural. And we're engaging with all of them. We're, we've learned so much just in the last month of having thousands of people inside of it. Now at the moment, this is only available in the US and Canada, where the earliest adopters are about to end their free trial month. So the company is about to find out if people are prepared to pay. One obvious downside to working out in VR is that you get really sweaty in the headset, although Supernatural's offering a free silicon face shield to anyone who signs up for the free trial. I've been comparing the experience to Ring Fit. It's Nintendo's latest fitness game for the Switch, and you use your body and this ring to control a character on the screen. So it has you jogging, doing squats and yoga poses, even stretching and squeezing this ring to defeat an evil dragon in the game who wears a wrestling singlet. As you'd expect from Nintendo, it's very cute and a little bit weird. <laughs> What's really clever is that the controller can even measure your heart rate to see if you're working up a sweat, and I certainly did. Although like a lot of Nintendo games, this one is full of text prompts that you have to skip, skip, skip your way through, and a lot of the time I just feel like, get on with it! <laughs> now both of these might just be a passing craze, like we Fit was, but I'm determined to lose my lockdown weight, and at least they've got me moving every day and sweating it out. 